Texas, the target rich environment. You've heard us say it before. You can hunt 12 months a year here. Well, my good friend Seth, he and I are going back to the Four Seasons Ranch. He's going after an Oryx with his McWhorter, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm taking that new breed bow, and I'm going after a hog. It's gonna be a fun hunt. We're back at the Four Seasons Ranch this week. One of BCM's favorite destinations. Water Custom Rifles presents Brush Country Monsters. Springtime in South Texas. Blue bonnets are blooming, turkeys are gobbling, everything's green, all kind of plants are blooming. We're still at the Four Seasons Ranch and we've got four awesome turkey on the ground, had a great hunt. How about that? Yeah. How about that? How about that? <laughs> This week we're back and I'm gonna be hunting a scimitar horned oryx with my McWhorter 7 STW. I've got my new breed bow. I'm gonna to try to get a hog. Now uh, at the Four Seasons Ranch, they have a little bit of everything. They obviously have scimitar horned oryx, lots of pigs of course, um, just a, a plethora of different wild animals and um, being able to, to hunt them year round anytime you want to is just another way to extend your hunting season. First set up for my hunt with my bow to try to get a hog. Uh, Jacob helped us set up a ground black. tonight the new new breed bow is going to get worth some work and I can get my first kill with it. Pigs are on the market. And while we're waiting there uh, I hear a gobble behind us and the next thing you know we have this huge gobbler come in and strut in front of us and do all kind of stuff and there I am with my bow trying to shoot a hole. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ranch, Kevin and Seth have the McWhorter 7mm STW and they're after an orcs. When you come here on the hunt, we can set up however you would like. We can hunt out of a blind, we'll hunt out of a tripod, box blind, um, we will set up a pop-up blind. Uh, anyway, we can do a sit and a stalk if that suits you. Our first afternoon out, we we're going to try and go and hunt these animals like we would do in Africa with a spot and stalk. We're kind of running out of light, but we spotted this thing from a distance and we're going to try to make a move and shoot it African style, so. That's right. We'll see. Nice bull, real nice bull, mature. Okay, let's do it. 
kind of stuff. Kevin had known that there was a bull hanging out in this one specific part of the ranch that was uh, pretty easy to locate. Right there. We snuck in, we got in location, um, I got down on the sticks, I could see the bull, um, I just could not make out a great shot. And you know, it was the first afternoon out, um, I could see the white of this animal, it was real easy to, to, to pick them out, but be able to, to find a, a perfect shot on his shoulder and, and thread that needle through all that brush, it was gonna be a tough task. So um, I think in hindsight, I guess I could have tried to squeeze one through there, but I know I had several more days of the hunt. We had plenty of time to try to get it done. That was not the best thing to do, was try to slip one in there on the very first afternoon of the hunt. Brush Country Monsters is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, the most accurate hunting rifles in the world. Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Safari Club International Foundation, first for wildlife. Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, over 50 years in Central Texas and we couldn't have stuck around this long if we were steering you wrong. Chupacabra Rub, shake it, rub it, love it. And Surge Pro, the best yield enhancing foliar fertilizer on the market. Brush Country Monsters is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, real Texas barbecue. Swarovski Optique, see the unseen. Burger Bullets, shoot better, shoot burger. Heart Rifle Barrels, unparalleled performance, handcrafted one at a time. And John Burl's High Adventure Company, the finest collection of big game wing shooting and sport fishing destinations in the world. So the next day we decided we're gonna go and sit in a blind. Now this one specific bull that we were looking at, he, he likes to, uh, to move back and forth across this sendero and later up in midday they've seen him in this certain spot of the ranch a couple of times. hoping that he's going to cross this pipeline and uh, maybe we can get a shot at him. That's what we're looking for. Winds have picked up, but um, you know, it's a good time of day for this. Um, you know, Lamar, he's trying to get him a pig with a bow. He almost got one this morning. morning. Yeah, he was close. But uh, maybe we can get an oryx and he can get back after his pig this afternoon. That's right. You know, we weren't there what felt like maybe maybe 30 minutes and uh, Russell goes, there he is, there he is. There he is right there, there he is. To the left. These things are somewhat easy to spot. They're solid white and he could he could pick them out in the brush to the left. I gotta, I gotta move this every time. I'm gonna have to stop him, okay? He stops just short and uh, I have a perfect shot at his body. Uh, I can shoot him right this second at his shoulder, but uh, Russell's holding me off. You know, it what seemed like forever, he, he stepped forward and he walked, and now he was on a steady pace, making his way across the Sendero. He gets to the middle and Russell says, you need to stop him. There he is. Put another one in there. You know, I, I had expected this animal just fold up and hit the ground, but these things are tough. He wheeled and he took off, and before you know it, he's out of sight. You know, everything had played out just like we had hoped it had, and uh, now we just had to go down and find this thing and put our hands in this big old bull scimitar. I walked up there and looked at him. He was everything I had expected him to be. Long sweeping horns, that, that solid copper on his neck, jet white coat on him. Uh, just a beautiful, magnificent trophy. This is, uh, 
considered an exotic, but basically this is this is where they live now. This right? is it. This is where they're at. That's right. And you've got a healthy herd of them here on the ranch, don't you? Bob? That's right. It's probably about 50 or so. Okay. Definitely. The scimitar horned oryx is a testament to the conservation efforts of the state of Texas. If it were not for Texans, this animal would not exist today. You know, 100 years ago or so, these animals were introduced to different ranches and landowners, and, and owners and ranchers have kept them around. And for probably 50 plus years now, and to be able to hunt them in Texas in an environment like this is just a testament to the conservation-minded efforts of all hunters. Well, here's my trophy scimitar horned oryx taking it to Four Seasons Ranch outside of Pearsall, Texas. We've had a phenomenal week. Trophy gobblers all over the place. In fact, I took my largest turkey ever just a few days ago. You've got a wonderful property here. You know, last year Lamar and I came out and took two great whitetails. In fact, I shot mine not too very far from here. But uh, we've had a phenomenal time hunting with you. You got a great place. You guys come and check it out, fourseasonsranch.com. These things are magnificent trophies, guys, and they make a beautiful shoulder mount. Um, and when I walked up there and looked at him, he was everything I had expected him to be. Long sweeping horns, that, that solid copper on his neck, jet white coat on him. Uh, just a beautiful, magnificent trophy. And uh, to be able to hunt him uh, at the same time, you know, we had just taken some big old long beards a couple of days before. Now a big old scimitar or oryx on the ground. Just a fantastic trip. With my oryx on the ground, now Lamar just had to find the right pig and get him in his sights of his new breed bow. Brush Country Monsters is brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Revolution Safe Company, inspired by Pendleton. Rotating gun management made simple. Borden Accuracy, makers of the Rimrock, Alpine, and Timberline custom actions. Swagger, the bipod with moves. And New Breed Archery. No hype, just hunt. Four Seasons Ranch. We got the turkey out of the way. It's been a great four days. So now I got the new breed bow. We're gonna get in a double tripod and see if we can't get some hogs. My man Jacob said they're like clockwork going there. So he's gonna drop me off. And we're gonna see if we can't get that new breed kill. We weren't expecting it, but a huge turkey came in and we watched it, enjoyed that. We hear a pig coming, he comes under the fence and he doesn't get five feet under that fence before he stops, whirls, and he winded us. He was gone. That afternoon, we go back to the elevated blind. We're gonna to try to get those hogs. Uh, they've, they've got trail cameras of them. There's lots of hogs in there, and we know it's good a good spot. The wind has changed a little bit, and we're hoping it won't swirl when they come in this time.
Uh, we've been sitting there for about an hour and a half, and the next thing you know it, a whole mess of them come in, and I picked the biggest one. Today we'll conclude our series of the elements of a customer rifle. We'll talk about aesthetics. Aesthetics we take very seriously. It's something near and dear to our hearts. We don't really have a package gun like a lot of other manufacturers, just a few choices. We offer the wide variety of stocks that we've already talked about, but the custom color paint schemes that we offer on them are, are probably wider than anybody else in the industry. Our painting is done with a Duracoat paint with a Dura Velvet finish on top of it to not only give it that soft feel, but to give it a protective coating. Uh, our metal finishes are all baked on Cerakote. We offer every uh, color that Cerakote offers. In, in addition to that, we have some mixtures of our own, such as Midnight Gray, Sniper Gray, and Twilight Gray. So, you know, everything that you see on our website, we can do, we can exactly replicate it, but we're not limited to what you see. We are a total custom shop. So take a look around our website, give us a call, let us build you a, a rifle of your dreams. And that's our own target. Tip of the week brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles. Uh, we've been sitting there for about an hour and a half, and the next thing you know it, a whole mess of them come in, and I picked the biggest one. As soon as I got the okay that the camera was on it, I pulled the new rig back, I set my finger on the trigger. I mean, that thing comes back just like glass and just sets like it's no problem whatsoever. And when you release it, there's no vibration. It's nothing but picture perfect. The arrow flew exactly where I pointed it, and I had me a hog. <laughs> I do believe I got a hog. <laughs> what the, tell you what, I think I'm, think I'm all on to come in here, because once that thing went off, they came filing in there right after a couple of dough. So, looks like it was a pretty good shot. So. Much blood, but blood there. Here's some right here. I got him going there, so he's going this way. Well, if it gets much thicker, it's going to be hard to find. Going with thick stuff. All grass for now and hopefully he's hopefully he's laying right over there. <laughs> yes sir. One black pig. Boy, look at the cutters already. Sharp too. Little baby to cut you. Four Seasons Ranch, target rich environment guys. You gotta come see this place. You've seen the deer we killed, you've seen the turkey, uh, Seth's great oryx. I got a hog with my bow. You can come here and have more fun than you know what to do with quail, dove. It's a place to come. This afternoon we got set up in, the, in, in a little double tripod type deal. Uh, it's over a feeder and I put some pigs dig it and hogs hammer it. And we got there a little too early maybe, but it was hot, it was windy. We wanted everything to settle down. And as soon as it was right, we had a couple of doe come in and then right behind them, here come five or six of them. They just piled in there and started tearing it up. So uh, they have a lot of hogs here and they can become a problem if you don't uh, control them. So Kevin said, bring your bow, come down here and get you one. So I was more than happy to bring the new breed down and see what I could do. The, the new breed just performed flawlessly. Uh, the GX2 XL and the, the shank arrows, you can't beat the combination. So y'all need to check that out. What a great hunt. We I mean, it's our second time here at the Four Seasons Ranch, and Seth and I could not be happier. 
Uh, we've got two huge bucks. We've got four huge gobblers. We got a monster, uh, Oryx. I got a hog with my bow. Uh, they've got it going on there. Kevin Kubeska has it, everything that you want in a true South Texas hunt. He's got the bucks, the turkey, the dove, the Oryx, the exotic, anything you want, you will not be disappointed. You really owe it to yourself to call the Four Seasons Ranch in South Texas. Great having an extended season, isn't it? What a great place. Until next week, always remember, keep God and family first.